So this is for those who want to learn how to change their oil in the O3 Impala or pretty much anything close. So first off you need your oil, 1040 oil filter, your wrenches, get your tools together, and of course your funnel and your drain. So where is your filter located? It's like right there. So you see the little this piece that's what you want to unscrew but first we're going to unscrew your oil cap so make sure your car is jacked and also make sure you have some jack stands to make sure your, your car is level and secure that way in case anything happens so your car doesn't fall on you so also make sure it's level that way when you take that little piece off everything comes out all that gunk all that old oil just yeah. so you want to go right there and unscrew that little piece right there that way it drains into your pot so you see the next step pretty much just lock it on and twist and after you get up to a certain point you can just twist it off beware the starter it will spark if you touch it with the metal. So just twist it off, let the oil spill, and there's a bee in here. Holy shit. Alright, next phase is to grab your funnel. Make sure it's clean. You don't want any dirt, grass, or old oil, or water to get in your engine. So you're going to get this piece go on the old part make sure that the rubber did not fall off that way this does not fall off what in the middle of driving or anything next kind of just get a little oil on your finger and just put it around just lather the rubber around with it that way it just fits on nice and neat and then you want to fill it up Use the funnel to fill it up with oil. All right, next step, like I said, check the old filter, make sure the rubber is still on it, and then put the new filter on, and then put your screw back on to your oil cap. Make sure it's extra tight, as tight as possible, so you don't get any leaks. This next part, I think, is pretty obvious. You want to fill it up with the oil, and then right after that, just let it run through a little bit. Then let your car run, check under everything, make sure nothing's leaking, and then you should be fine. But overall, make sure your bolts are tight. Make sure your filter's on tight. And you should be good. But remember, when putting that filter on, be careful. It can be flammable if you get any oil leaks. Meaning, don't let that metal touch that dang starter. So like, subscribe, add me on Instagram.